If your vision of a fishing trip is a bucolic idol on a warm summer afternoon, then this story isn't for you. But if you like your fish big, I mean 18 to 20 pound steelhead, and if you like your fishing rough, I mean really rough, freezing weather, 10 knot currents, brush, snags, and enough rocks to break off your line every five minutes, not to mention the crowds, jet boats howling up and down the river, wall-to-wall -wall people, fishing in a Manhattan traffic jam, then you'll like the Cowlitz. This is the Cowlitz River in southern Washington, and it's been a couple of years since I fished the Cowlitz. I've forgotten what a wild scene this place can be. As you can see, there are fish in the river, and everybody knows about it. We're drifting in perhaps a 10-knot current, and boats are surrounding us. It's a, an exciting fishery if your heart can take it. What makes the Cowlitz so wild? It's the fish. The Cowlitz is the home of a huge run of big steelhead. 18 to 20 pound fish are common, and more than 70,000 fish will pass through this one narrow stretch of river. This is a perfect time of year for the Cowlitz. It's early winter, but the water's not too cold. The clarity's just about right. A week or so ago, we had some heavy rains and the water was up, but it's dropped back down now, and the Cowlitz isn't too heavily affected because it's a dammed river. And everybody knows that the fish are in the river. You can see by all the boats that you've seen running up and down here today, it's important in a situation like this that you've got someone who knows the river and who can stay out of the way of the traffic that you're seeing coming up and down the river here. Dan Ross is guiding us today, and he knows the river, and he can sure stay out of the way of these other boats, but get us in on the fish. Dan's been fishing the river for a lot of years. His tiller hand has been tempered by the combat, which passes for fishing on the cowlets, and he knows how to find the fish. Any place along here as we're fishing along, we'll grab, there'll be a rock coming up. We'll get it in behind the rocks, underneath the brush little patches where there's a place for a fish to rest. Most of the fishing on the Cowlitz is bait fishing. Most of the anglers who fish here have their own secret recipes for curing salmon and steelhead roe. Each recipe is designed to entice the greatest number of strikes from the migrating steelhead. And of course, Dan has his own secret recipe. We want a real red egg for a winter steelhead. We want to get them textured to the firmness and that's, that's done by curing them at a certain amount of time, air drying them. I've got a big walk-in stainless steel freezer at home to lay them out on racks and let them air dry. I want them firmed up so that when we cast, and the, when a fish is grabbing them eggs, I want them eggs to smash in his mouth and he finds the hook right away. Now, are you use, using any sense or anything like that with the cure? I use some of uh, that Mike's Atlas uh, scents. Are you using it on the, on the bait itself, or are you using At times, it? yeah. I used some stuff on some eggs here, and uh, I didn't, uh, I don't always show it to my people what I'm using. We just take and put a little bit right on our eggs. Let's bring them in, and we'll put them right at this turquoise hat guy here. Oh, oh there we go. Fish on. All right. Okay. Oh, put it in the gunnel. Okay, in the gunnel. Gosh, dang, you hit like a ton of lead. Yeah, it's about time. That's what I have to say. I want to see one of these fish close up. Okay, the fish is coming up closer. Watch your net. Get ready. Get back Let's here. Get back here. Okay. Oh, baby, go. Oh. Boop, 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 boop. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I see him come, see a little color there. Nope. Oh, a jump. You about ready, Charlie? Okay. Oh, just lost it. Oh, oh, he threw what it away. What happened? He threw the hook. <laughs> Bear hook. A long distance release. I saw that. That was a good release. You like yeah, that, John? Beautifully released. I mean, this is what it's all about. It's you get the excitement of it, and then you release them unharmed back into the wild. Didn't even have to touch it. Of course, <laughs> we would have liked to have seen it. Oh, well, I seen it, didn't you? It was right there. I brought it up for you. For most of these anglers, this day will end in futility. For many, 
this day will test their sanity and a few will be driven to the brink of madness. Though these men and women may appear to be bank robbers, terrorists and thugs, they're really steelheaders. They've forsaken their warm homes and loving families to stand here in 30 degree weather for the chance, and only the chance, to experience the adrenaline pumping rush of a hard fighting steelhead. When you finally hook into a cowlet steelhead, you begin to understand why these people are standing here. That's a pretty hefty fish. Of course, I'm having a little trouble seeing. It's starting to get dark. Okay, here we go. Let me see if I can swing it in. Swing it. Yes, in the net. Oh, a beauty. Wow. Nice fish. Wow. Wow. This is a, a beautiful fish. Oh, 14, 15 pounds. And these are the type of fish you can catch in the cowlets.